A direct variation is a relationship between two variables in which one variable is a constant multiple of the other variable. Essentially what this means is that one thing directly affects the other. Something else we need to also take into consideration is the fact that both variables at zero or as the independent variable is at zero the dependent variable will be at zero as well as you can see in this table. Some would say that direct variation means that the two variables are proportional to each other. A direct variation can be defined by the equation y equals m times x. y would be our dependent variable and x is our independent variable. What this means is as the independent variable increases or decreases, the dependent variable is going to change by some common factor. In a previous example, we looked at a jogger running at a constant pace of 150 meters per minute. That gave us an equation of y equals 150 times x, or more specifically in that particular scenario, we used d for distance, 150 times t. That was a direct variation. We call m the constant of variation. And we can find the constant of variation in a direct variation by simply looking at the table and finding what we call the first differences, or the differences between our y values. As our x value goes up by 1, our y value in this case goes up by 10. And that means that our constant of variation is going to be 10, and our equation in this scenario would be y equals 10 times x. Graphing a direct variation will always begin at the origin, or at 0, comma 0. Determining whether a relationship is a direct or what we call partial variation is quite simple. A direct variation requires that when x at, is at 0, the y value must also be at 0. So in the first table, we can see that this is not a direct variation because when time is 0, the cost is 40. So this is not a direct variation. However, looking at the second table, we see time is 0, the cost is 0, and thus this must be a direct variation. Note that both tables are linear because they do go up by 10 each time on the right or sorry on the left on the right they go up by 30 so there is a constant relationship and it will give us a linear graph however in the first instance this graph will not start at the origin whereas our direct variation however will start at the origin. Looking at another example, this table is an example, or a, sorry, a non-example of a direct variation. And that is because, once again, this table does not have the origin in it, 0, comma, 0. So that's something to keep in mind. You'll also note when looking at the corresponding graph 
for this table that the graph does not begin at the origin. The equation for this particular relationship is C equals 200 plus 20P. And you might recognize in our table our Y values go up by 20, which gives us the constant of variation. And you'll note that the 200 can be found with our x value at 0. This is something that we will look at later in the unit. So this is not a direct variation. Looking at this table, it doesn't appear to be a direct variation because our first value does not start at zero in the y column. However, you'll also note that the first value in the x column does not start at zero. So something we need to be aware of is the fact that the origin could be hidden in the table. As the x is increased by 10, our y values increase by 300. And you'll note if we go back 300, our cost is 0. And if we go back 10 people, our number of people are 0. And thus, we do have a direct variation. Looking at the graph, we can clearly see that our linear relationship does indeed begin at the origin. And thus, our hidden origin in the table is very important. The equation should be noted as our constant of variation is 30. Note, though, that in our table, I see 300, keeping in mind that we were increasing by tens instead of one. So it should be mentioned that our constant of variation is not always the first differences. It is only the first differences if our x values or our independent variable is increasing by one. So in this case, we can take 300, divide by 10, and we get our 30. So once again, just to highlight that so that we're clear, our 300 comes from our first differences, and our number 10 comes from the value that our independent variable is increasing by. This is, in fact, a direct variation.